Yes, I'd love to, Pedro. Yes, thank you. Bye, Pedro. Wow, you never guess who that was, guys. Who was it? Pedro. Well, he just asked me if I wanted to be in the second season of The Last of Us. No, not as Joel, but as a clicker. Little bummer because I trained the entire year for Ellie. <laughs> Sorry, that was my idea. Anyhow, I've heard that they used makeup for the infected people. Well, I have delicate skin, so I'm gonna have to come up with a different plan and I've got something genius. What if I use a simple iPhone app to capture my movement and put that onto a 3D model? Sounds like that's not gonna look so good, but you're gonna be surprised. Traditionally, you're gonna need a motion tracking suit. These are pretty expensive. And for every talent, you're gonna need an extra suit. So you're easily spending tens of thousands of dollars. That is not an option for me and for you, I think. Drop the ball, Janik. That's not even a real motion suit. We're gonna use an iPhone app called Move AI and place a bunch of iPhones in a circle. That way we can capture our movements from different angles. And I know what you're thinking. Multiple iPhones, that's not cheaper than a suit. Well, first of all, it still is. And you don't need six iPhones. Two is enough to capture one talent. So you can just ask a friend and throw... <laughs> so you can just ask a friend and throw a motion tracking party. You can also find cheap refurbished phones like we did. We got four extra iPhones for under a thousand bucks. Just remember it has to be newer than the iPhone 8. Now back to Move AI. This software is mind blowing. It uses simple video to create its motion tracking data and it does that incredibly well. You'll see in just a moment how amazing it is. Now you can try it out yourself because the first two minutes of motion tracking is completely for free. After that it's just a dollar per day which is less than your daily coffee. Now the best part is that it is a breeze to set up so definitely check out the link in the description down below for all the information or just scan the QR code somewhere here on screen. You gotta be kidding me. Janik, stop playing with your balls. Damn it, come on, they need the video today. Get recording. No time to waste. Let's create our motion tracking space. We'll be speeding through this entire process, but for a detailed walkthrough, check the link in the description down below. First, prep the capture area. We always want to use one device as our host. Then we use at least two iPhones for recording one person and up to six iPhones to record three persons at once. On their website, they have a great tool to help you with that. A tip, don't wear baggy clothes or long sleeves. Your wrists and hands need to be visible. Also, try to avoid wearing black and make sure to add contrast between your actor and your environment. Lastly, match the footwear of your model. If they aren't wearing shoes, you shouldn't either. No shoes, no shirt, no service. And now let's set up our iPhones. First, we pick our host. On this, we start a host session. With all the other iPhones, we can join this session and that's it. Next up, calibrating. Again, you need to do a whole bunch of actions. Movie Eye is super detailed in their walkthrough, so check that out while we do the calibration dance. And after we've done our dance, it's time to record our motion. Create a new scene, start recording on the host and clap three times above your head. Hold a T pose for two seconds and now you can do whatever you want. And there you go, it's easier than finding eggs in a store these days. Now head over to the Move AI website. Before I can process the motion capture data, I first need to calibrate my actor. Move AI will give me multiple prompts, where I need to fill in stuff like height and more. Following all the steps, I eventually let it run. After the calibration, I can extract the motion capture data by creating a new take and again following all the prompts. We need to select all the cameras and whatnot. Finally, after everything is processed, choose the desired rig for the X part. I'll go with Unreal Engine 5, but pick whatever suits you. Last, choose the file format that you need. For us, this will be FBX and then just download it. Now look at that beautiful tracking data. It's really amazing how accurate it is. Hey, Pedro. What? I, I mean, no problem. No problem, of course. Yeah. Shit! Guys, guys, HBO doesn't have 3D models. Chenik, stop playing with your balls and find me some 3D models. We need clickers, and look at that, we found a beautiful family of clickers on CG Trader. However, they are made and rigged in Blender, and we are total Blender noobs. So let's just grab the FBX files, the textures, and re-rig them for Unreal Engine. Yep, rigging can be a pain in the ass, but luckily for you, we found an easy method. There's a free program called AccuRig, which lets us auto-rig any model we want. Easy peasy, what a time to be alive. Soon we'll be like the humans from WALL-E. After AccuRig does its magic, 
choose the right rig and download your model. Pop it into Unreal and link the motion capture. To begin, I import my beautiful clicker model into Unreal Engine. After that, I can also import the motion tracking data. When importing the data, I get a prompt and here I can choose a skeleton for a certain model. For me, Jordi is going to be a clicker and that's it to link the model to the data. Or almost. I can now open up the level sequencer. Here I add my clicker model and for animation, I will pick the motion tracking take. And boom, it's linked. However, as you can see, my model is squished together. Very weird. But I can easily fix that. I double click on the clicker model in the content browser and went to the skeleton tree. I enabled the retargeting options, went to the pelvis and right clicked on it. Here I choose recursively set translation retargeting skeleton. Lastly, I set the pelvis to animation relative and save. There we go, squish is fixed. Last, let's talk about the Unreal environment. I actually used this super cool free abandoned apartment map from Quixel. You can find this and a bunch of other amazing maps in the Unreal Engine marketplace. All I had to do was add some lights, position those creepy clicker models and set a few cameras. Now for one of those cameras, I used the Vive Mars cam track to give a handheld motion. This added a touch of suspense to the shot, making it more thrilling. And it's a wrap, guys. That's HBO. Hello? What? You gotta be kidding me! Ah, damn it! They cancelled us! They found out we were using Move AI, so they just put an intern onto it because it was so easy. Damn it! You know what? I'm gonna sell my idea to a different show. Hey, Charlie Sheen, it's me. One says pitch later. <laughs> I'd watch that show. You know, AI is getting pretty strong these days. We even took it to the test where ChatGTP had to write a scenario for a short film and I had to write one without using any tool. You can see that video here on my left how that turned out. Thanks for watching and as always, stay creative.